Hello and welcome back. In this video I'll cover adding sound to the ball whenever it collides with uh, any of the game objects which could be either the paddles or the top or bottom panel. This is fairly simple to do. The first thing we're going to need is we're going to need to get a sound effect for this. Now you can use whatever sound effect you like. I found one here in free sound. Um, I'll include the link to it in the description. I'm not sure if I can distribute it so um, you'll need to sign up yourself for an account um, and download it from there or alternatively you can use your own uh, any other sound effect. So the logical place to put this sound effect uh, or the audio source that will play this sound effect is in the ball because it's the uh, common factor if the ball collides with the top boundary we want to play it, if the ball collides with the paddle. So that's the logical place to put it. So to do this, let's just add a an audio source to the ball. Now we're going to need to go into the ball and we're going to need to get a reference to the audio source. So public audio source ball audio source and we're also going to need an audio clip, public audio clip bleep we'll call it. and let's just build that. Now we need to import this. So I've got a folder here called audio. Let's just show this in Explorer. Okay, so I've already got this downloaded here. So I'm just gonna well I'll I'll just copy it and paste it in this folder. Uh, in case you're um, curious about the background here, um, that's one of the illustrations that I'm using in Vigilante, which is uh, my second game. It's going to be used for the main menu. So there's a couple of um, neon signs here for the buttons when you game, load game, and it'll when you hover over it, it'll give a nice kind of neon effect in the character here. Um, but let's get back to task at hand. So now we have the uh, sound imported. So we want to get a reference to the audio source. We want to get a reference to the sound. Okay. So this sound will play whenever the ball collides or something. So we need to look at a method that is called on collisions. So this handles, so this is a mono method which handles collision logic. So public, no I don't need, sorry, uh, void um, on collision, collision enter 2D and we will want, we don't need this right now, but we're going to need this collision. We need to pass the actual collision, so we'll have some information on it. We don't need it for playing the sound, but we will need it for something else later. So, all we'll need to do is, we need to get the audio source. Uh, sorry, that is called ball audio source. And we want to play one shot. Bleep. Okay. Build it and see if it works. No, it doesn't. Why is that? Okay, we need to disable this. We probably need to drag this in the audio clip into this. Try that again. No, it's still not working. Let's see, okay, we have a reference, we have the audio source, we have the sound. Let's just check the sound to see if it's working. Yep. Ah, I see, yeah, I see you here. Uh, I think this should be capital, capital D. And let's just see if that fixes the problem. Yeah, there we go. I'm not sure if it's actually playing on 
um, if you'll be able to hear it, but yeah, the sound's working fine now. So I'll wrap it up with that for this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.